videos VR to my buddy Cat Dad Piper Cosmo. I'm so happy for you. Can't it doesn't it doesn't seem like a year already. Time really flies. Um, smoking a Castello with my own blend in it, or my own. It's not a blend. It's Red Virginia um, from Whole Leaf. Uh, pressed one year. Just cracked it open today. <clears throat> So, uh, you know, the question arose today from, from Cosmo, by the way, um, if for some reason you haven't subscribed to Cat Dad Piper, um, give him a sub. He's, uh, celebrating one year and he asked the question, what is the perfect situation for a summertime smoke for? That was question one. And mine is, is I've kind of got two answers for that one. I love to sit out here and smoke when it's, it's been a hot day. And we have those pop-up afternoon thunderstorms that comes in and drops the temperature like 15, 20 degrees. And during the storm, I light my pipe up and I pour me a glass of cranberry grape juice. And I sit here and smoke my pipe watching the rain feeling the temperature go down that to me is as close to a perfect situation of smoking for me and number two is usually around july 4th we get a cold front that comes through every year it seems like it would come through not that it drops the temperature it just lowers the humidity for two or three days that's it after that one i mean it's you know drink lots of fluid and don't come outside uh, after 11 a.m. until November 1st. Um, but yes, the July, around, somewhere in July, sometimes it's the week after the July 4th, sometimes the week before. It's not happening the week before. So hopefully it'll come through. Happens every year. We get the cold front, humidity drops, and you know it can get up to 91, but with the humidity being low, it feels 10 degrees cooler so uh, that's another one when you know the two or three days out of the summer that it um that the temp that the uh, humidity drops from a cold front so another question that that he asked was uh some advice that i could give a, a beginner pipe smoker and there's just a lot but i would say don't be afraid of Virginia tobaccos, despite what people say, you know, don't be afraid to try them. Um, I wish I'd have tried them sooner. Um, and that really, that goes for, you know, English blends and everything else. Don't be afraid to try them to see what you like. But I hear a lot that Virginia is to give you tongue bite, it's this and that, and not, it's actually the opposite for me. Um, so it varies, but don't, you know, give it a try. Um, don't let people scare you away from things. Um, I was scared to, sh to smoke rope tobacco for a while and then come to find out I smoke it just fine. Um, you know, your mileage may vary with everything. So I would say, you know, try things, see what you like, but don't write off Virginia tobacco. Again, congratulations, Cosmo. I am so thrilled that you've stuck around this long and I continue to hope that we all continue this cool little hobby and, and on YouTube um, I get lots of enjoyment watching guys like you and um, um, here's to many more my friend God bless everybody